Good morning, all you lovers of the Word of God. Thank you for joining me this morning. It's a little earlier. I got to get going earlier this morning. And, um, but glad. I'm just so thankful that this stays on Facebook for those to see it whenever they want. You can be live right now or you can see it in the evening before you go to bed. I'm just glad and I hope and pray that it's a blessing to you in some way. I am. Um, and that's all that we can really hope for. But the Lord says, and he promised, that his word would not return to him void. So there's always fruit in reading his word and in offering him some praise through a song. So hey, can't really go wrong with that. I'm just so glad that you're here to um, help me out with that. So today we're going to be reading from Hebrews 5. And so we're excited to hear what the Lord has to say to us through Hebrews. And the song I have for you is one that I remember as a young boy singing in church uh, with the congregation. Um, but in the meantime, get your Amundsen family engraved coffee mug off our website, amundsenfamilymusic.com. And while you're there, you can get a fridge magnet and sign on to our new VIP page. We're starting to have more people come on and it's quite a community where we, we share pictures from behind the scenes or old pictures. I put some teasers on Facebook once in a while and that's the kind of thing that you'll see a lot on our VIP page. Video clips from concerts, maybe what the kids are doing, what we're doing on the ranch. Stuff that you just wouldn't see otherwise. So while you're on our website, you can get all those things plus sign on to VIP. Anybody, if you're having trouble signing on to VIP, just don't be afraid to get a hold of me. Um, Ira has set it up so that you can, you can pay online or you can pay by check, money order, or whatever you want, really. We can work it out, and we're, we're good with that. But just get a hold of us if you're having trouble, because I know that it's not the easiest, uh, especially if we're not used to running computers. It's not the easiest sometimes to, to figure it all out. So please get a hold of us, but we would love to see you on our VIP page. It's one big happy family and you get to know us and better yet, we get to know you a little bit. So praise the Lord. It's a lot of fun. Here's a song. It's only by thy spirit, Lord, that I am led to thee. It's only by thy spirit, Lord, my eyes are made to see. It's not by might and not by power, but in reality. It's only by thy Spirit, Lord, that I am led to thee. It's only by thy Spirit, Lord, that I am led to thee. It's only by thy Spirit, Lord, my eyes are made to see it's not by might and not by power but in reality it's only by thy spirit Lord that I am led to thee it's only by thy spirit Lord you know Jesus said no one can come unto the Father except he, I draw him and so we're so thankful. I think of the many in the world who are yet in darkness and we just can't help but yearn for their salvation and long that God would draw them unto himself. And the good thing is he is doing that. He has a wonderful plan for all of humanity. Jesus came into the world um, to save sinners, of which we all are. And so he has a wonderful plan and that he has made you and I 
a part of. It's only by thy spirit, Lord, that I am led to thee. It's only by thy spirit, Lord, my eyes are made to see. It's not by might and not by power, but in reality. It's only by thy spirit, Lord, that I am led to Oh, so we can thank the Lord for that. It's by His grace. Nothing that we've done, we didn't pay for it. It's by His grace. I don't know why He chose things to do, to do things the way He did, but He did. Well, let's turn to the Scriptures. And before that, maybe I'll just admonish you all too, is we have a growing list of prayer requests that our family is just so happy to take to the Lord in our family devotions. And so if you you feel that you could use some prayer, that you are struggling with something that you'd like us to come alongside you with, feel free either to, you can either mention it publicly in the comments or you could private message us like many others have, and we will just gladly take you to the Lord in prayer. Um, and as well, if you have a praise report, absolutely let us know so that we can all rejoice. <clears throat> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Father, for your choosing, the way you guide us, and the way you have a plan for the world through your G- your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the place that you have put us in. And thank you for this morning that we can serve you and worship you in this way with a song and the reading of your word. Bless it, Lord, to our heart's use. Lord, that it would do the thing that you've called it to do in our lives and that we would be of a contrite heart and a humble spirit that we can take and receive what you have for us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Hebrews 5. Starting from verse 1. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. And by reason hereof he ought, as for the people, so so also for himself to offer for sins. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron." So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. As he saith also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and was heard in that he feared. Verse 8. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Called of God, a high priest after the order of Melchizedek of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. Lord, help us with that. For when, for the time, ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. 
For everyone that uses milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their ex senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So we pray the Lord would help us to mature and help us to grow as he feeds us and as he teaches us so we can be in the place where he'd have us to be and also, evidently, that we can be teachers, that we can be, be those that show others the way. It doesn't have to happen in, in preaching. It's like the, the old adage says, you know, we are a written epistle for all men to see. Many don't have any care or any reason to want to read the Word of God or even go to church or have any interest in spiritual things, but they do see you. They see you at your work, at your school, at the golf course, at the food bank, wherever it might be, and you are the Word of God in the flesh for them to see and to hear and experience. And so that puts an, an awfully big responsibility on you and I as we go about our daily lives to watch what we say, watch what we do, make sure that we're being an example of the coming kingdom of God on this earth. And it's that love that we have for each other and for one another and for those round about us that will draw all men unto himself. And what a beautiful picture and what a beautiful plan that God has as we love one another. And it's, it's sad to say that it's many believers that show a bad example. So let's try not to do that because Jesus Christ has given us a perfect example to follow. And we want to give a clear message to those round about us that, uh, that need to see what Jesus Christ really looks like. And it has nothing to do with religion as we, as we would think about it, but it has to do with Jesus Christ himself and the kingdom of God that he's setting up in this earth. Well, enough of that. We will think about that, but I have to go. Thank you so much for... Um, for following along here. I hope you see, to see you tomorrow morning. Just a second. I want to show you one of these one more time. Go get yourself an Amundsen family mug. Gabe made these. We really like them. And we will gladly ship one out for you. So go to our website, AmundsenFamilyMusic.com and you can go to our store there. You can buy CDs, these mugs, and we're going to be putting up other products as we go along. As well, as you're there, sign up for our VIP page. We'd love to have you for as little as the price of one burger per month. You can be on our VIP page, and we would love to have you. And those that pay $5 and those that pay $50, um, you all get in to all this content that we're putting on. And so we would love to have you. And uh, all right, have a blessed day, stay safe, and be careful little eyes what you see, be careful little ears what you hear, and be careful little feet where you go, right? That's what I tell my kids, or used to. <laughs> all right, take care everybody, see you tomorrow.